Hey everybody, it's Avi here with Global Visions Inc. I have the Acuvox R20. Uh, currently, uh, it seems that there could be a batch that has an issue with the PoE. Uh, so if you had it installed and it's time to work until I have an official answer from Acuvox, I recommend using separate 12 volts to power it up. Because from what we see in our lab is that the 12 volt still works, the data works, but the PoE somehow is getting fried. So what we recommend is over here on the back, you take... You know, you run a 12 volt adapter, you take an extra pair of cable if you had, uh, and then you would connect the 12 volt adapter there, and now it's working off of the 12 volts. Now, obviously, I would trim this off. It's not a live application. And now, okay, that's a no brainer because it works off of 12 volt also. Now, in a situation that you cannot run another cable, what you could do is one of two things is that A, uh, on the Cat5 cable, you could use the orange and green pairs the way they are, and you would separate and break out the blue and the uh, brown pairs. Once you put the blue and the brown pairs, then you're able to bring the 12 volts over that. Again, this is not the way I recommend from the beginning, but again, this is around a, 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 a one amp adapter. Uh, going over that should be more than fine. Uh, and again, you would put it here. Now, if you don't want it to go on a regular adapter and you still want it to go through the PoE to be able to manage it, you can get a 12 volt breakout. So this is a converter 48 volt to 12 volt converter. The data goes in here. I just modified a jack over here. Again, the green and the orange pairs, which is one, two, three, six. And then I took the brown and the blue pairs and I connected them. Obviously what you do for plus and minus as long as you match your colors on both sides. Here I did plus as the brown, brown, white, and minus as the blue, white, blue. And I connected it here. And the device is getting powered over a PoE. But it's actually being converted to the 12 volt. And I don't need to, you know, um, worry about if I need to use a managed switch to power cycle it. Uh, so these are the different options that you currently have until I have an answer. Uh, but again, either... You just connect the green and the orange pairs, take out the blue and the brown on both sides. And again, on the, on the other side, you would just connect blue and brown with your power adapter. So if I didn't want to use the PoE injector to give power, I, do, I wouldn't need to. I'd be able to take a regular wall 12 volt and give it the power that I want to give it. And now, because you see the device is currently off and again so that same method works with here and we have the 12 volt power going through through the brown and the blue pairs i hope this helps thank you